So one of the things that was already a massive problem on this planet that has now very quickly become an epidemic, and I'm not talking about a virus, is stress. Everybody's feeling it right now. The whole world is going through this collective wave of extreme tension and extreme stress, trying to process these things that are going on in our reality that are almost impossible to understand. And I feel like one of the things that people are missing on a very large scale is easy tools, easy tricks, easy little tips and techniques that can help us to overcome this extreme stress that we're all experiencing in order to be able to come back to equilibrium and reset from that high stress position to coming back to feeling normal again. And I'm here to let you know a few of what those are that work for me. Tip number one, meditation. A lot of people have a huge resistance to sitting down and being quiet and meditating. And I feel like demystifying the process of meditation can serve people well if they're just willing to give it a shot. And there's one particular technique that's the first technique they teach you when you go to do a Vipassana meditation retreat. And it's called Anapana meditation. And so essentially all you have to do is sit still and monitor your breath as it's passing in and out of the nasal cavity in this triangle that connects from the top of the nose to the bottom of the nose. So as you inhale, you feel the breath go in. As you exhale, feel the breath go out. As you feel your mind wander, imagine a dog on a leash and just yank it back in and forgive yourself for having the mind chatter take over. Do this practice for two minutes, three minutes. If you've never meditated before, just try it for one minute. Eventually get up to five, 10 minutes. I promise you if you stop what you're doing in the middle of a stressful situation and just meditate, quiet your mind, boom, you're gonna come back out of it feeling refreshed and recharged. All right, tip number two, breath work. If you haven't tried breath work before, it's literally one of the fastest techniques that you can use to reset as quickly as possible. There's plenty of techniques that are available for free online. Wim or Marcel Hoff, Dan Brule, Stan Groff. I'm gonna teach you a very quick technique that you can do in less than five minutes when you're feeling overly stressed out and in need of a reset. It's called the 10, 20, 30. And the way that it works is you take 10 deep breaths, hold your breath for 10 seconds, 20 breaths, hold your breath for 20 seconds, and then 30 breaths and hold your breath for 30 seconds or a minute if you can. By the end of that, I assure you, your body will be tingling and you'll be ready for a fresh start. Sounds something like this. All the way in, 70% out, and then breath holds in the middle. Tip number three, binaural beats. Um, specifically binaural beats on YouTube for stress. There's tons of tracks on there you can find. Essentially what binaural beats are, you gotta have a set of headphones and it's gonna pump one frequency into one side, another frequency into the other side. It's meant to stimulate specific brainwave states. And so if you find one for stress-free or relaxation, pop a pair of headphones on, listen to binaural beats for four, five, 10 minutes, or even while you work or while you're chilling, I promise you that frequency is gonna help you go from way up here to back down to normal super fast. So tip number four is a pattern interrupt. So that means if you're working, stop working. If you're in an argument, separate. If you're just sitting doing something and it's all of a sudden you find yourself in a triggered state, change your environment. So some examples of what you can do for a pattern interrupt are go for a walk. If you're on quarantine, go for a walk in your backyard or take some laps around your house. Number two would be go do some work in the garden, get some sunshine, get some vitamin D. Number three would be read a book something inspiring, something uplifting. And number four, my personal favorite from this list is do some exercise. When you go and you actually get some exercise, this can even be an at-home workout, stimulate the nervous system, get a little bit of a sweat going. What you'll find is whatever it was that you were stressed out before, whether consciously or unconsciously, has a funny way of exiting the, the system with a little bit of shift of focus. So, pattern interrupt. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Brian Kelly, one of the co-founders of Yogi Lab. This has been Yogi Lab Life Tips. We are on a mission to make personal development a way of life, not just something that we do on the side. Join us.